All right, heat coat. For right now, don't talk. Just listen. Oh, what? You wanna take a shot at me too, Gabor? Just listen and maybe you'll learn something. Yeah, I know I can be abrasive. Sure, but I wanted to see if now that we've done a draw for the titles and beat each other so bad the boss has benched us, I thought that maybe you would kind of forgive and forget now. You know, I mean, you and Powers, you've earned your spot, and Faye and me, we'd like to start fresh with you too. Oh hey, I'm sorry I tried to decapitate you with a stop sign. Let's be friends now. Is that what I'm hearing from you? Hey, that's all you get around here. I'm not the type to send a dozen roses, and you're not exactly the type one would send a dozen roses to either. And you can seriously just forget we were trying to maim each other in the ring, huh? Know something? Our first in-ring talk up. I wasn't lying when I said you're a lot like me. So, I'm telling you, I'm tired of fighting with you. You and Patty are gonna have way bigger problems than me and Foxy. They tried to warn you. The council's got their eye on AP. Alright, I guess you make sense, and I suppose I can trust you. I'm sorry too, for my part. There now, that didn't hurt so much now, did it? Okay, so now we're at peace. What happens next? Next is me giving you your first piece of friendly advice. So, if you and Patty aren't scheduled to make any more appearances tonight, now, right now, is the time to leave the building, go back to your hotel, and plan for Texas. Nothing good's gonna happen here. You heard the council's podcast. They're gonna be scalp hunting again. See you in Texas.